Hi and welcome to Watch The Time and my unboxing of a new watch which is another Citizen Pro Master Diver. So over on the left here we've got my, this was my uh, second hand watch I bought from a, um, a second hand shop on a day out. I didn't pay an awful lot for it, I paid 100 quid for it. It's all bashed up and uh, glassy scratched but I just kind of fell in love with it. The design, the, uh, the wearability, the, the crown on the left. Um, just the, the bezel design and it's just everything about it the loom just a great watch it's accurate um, I say it's, it's been well bashed about this one um, had a hard life but it still runs perfectly well there's a lot to be said for that um, and I, I just love it. it it looks great on different straps I've got it on quite a leery strap here but you know just a, a black strap or a green strap it looks great on and uh, just works really well I love the case design so you know that kind of really turned me on to the the citizen pro master diver range i've recently reviewed this um which is the eco drive absolutely love this different shape design different shape case design much sort of squarer i'm not so keen on that but i don't know if that's something to do with the eco drive movement but um all i would say about this i love the design of the the face the hands uh, the orange on the the, the minute um hand the loom again is fantastic and it's like ice blue. We've got the, the crown at the um, a slightly more traditional four o'clock position on this one. Again, a lovely bezel. Um, and this one, absolutely deadly accurate. I mean, on my app, it's sort of saying 0, 0.0. It, it's, um, you know, we're talking less than um, a quarter of a second, you know, uh, out. Uh, it's just a fantastically accurate watch. So I love it. So moving on to the new one so let's um, let's get this unboxed and uh, have a little look and here we go let's just get it straight out of there and there it is now this is the i think they call this the fugu uh, limited edition version and uh, fugu is uh, a puffer fish and on the back of the case there is a picture of a of a puffer fish and this has kind of some of the designs from both of these watches. This is obviously the blue version. So we've got the more of a red than an orange around the minute hand, but also a red tipped arrow on the uh, second hand. We've got a much bigger knurled crown there with a uh, signed logo on the end of it, the Pro Master logo. Uh, again, great loom, um, just a fantastic watch. But you've got, you know, from one watch, you've got this, this same case shape as... As this one, um, you can see this is a new one, this is an old one, um, and I just love it. It's it's really sort of touchy-feely, it's really comfortable on wrist. This is again is a strap magnet. Um, it comes with one of these um, rubber, and these rubber uh, straps are absolutely fine. I'm just not overly keen. If I was wearing this at the beach or in water or swimming, I would probably put the, the rubber strap back on it because it's the best in, in water, obviously. So let's just get this off the cushion. I won't go through the dimensions because I've done that on the other two watches as well. So we'll all know the, the, the rough sizes would help if I had it up the right way. Um, again, we've got the, the crown at the uh, eight o'clock position. I really like that. It makes the watch really comfortable because um, the crown doesn't dig into your hand or you can wear it on your right hand and it looks more traditional. The bezel action is really nice, just very simple. You know, these are fairly budget watches, they're not overly expensive, so you know, it's not sort of really tight, precision engineered, but really good. Um, I've not had this long enough to get a time on it yet, um, an accuracy report, but just looking at the it compared to the Eco Drive, I would say it's pretty much bang on. Um, and you can just see here the difference between the, the minute hand. So on the Eco Drive there you've got the orange and on the other one it's red. But um, I do like both the watches um, as well, but they're too similar to keep them both. So um, I'll just whip this off the strap and just show you the case back. Okay, so there's the, the case back with the, the puffer fish uh, completely inflated. And as the, you can see all the details, it's a Divers 200 Japanese movement. I think these run on my Ota movement. It does hand wind, but it doesn't hack, um, as does my other original one over there. That I, I know is an issue for some people, but you know it's not an issue for me. Um, and somewhere here it says, 
just there on the inside limited edition a lot of these are for the asia market only or whatever and i just don't understand that in this worldwide economy with the internet today and being able to buy stuff from anywhere in the world to ship anywhere in the world i don't understand why watch companies persist with this bullshit about only producing watches for certain markets now you can't say that Oh, you know, in the UK, for instance, we can't buy this watch. So it's not going to be on the shops. You can't say that there's no one in the UK that would like this. I mean, I like it and I think it's a really nice designed watch. Um, so I don't understand why we don't all get them. It's, it, that really does bother me and it's just, it's ridiculous. And it's like, why are you saying you can only sell in certain countries? It just limits your, your sale, surely. I, don't, I just, I've never understood that. Um, yeah, they, they, these companies, these watch companies need to get with it and get in the real world and, and just start releasing their, their watches. Uh, you know, there's no way for me to go into a shop on the high street and buy one of these or even see one. It's just, it's ridiculous. Um, so I'm, I'm glad I've got it. It's definitely a keeper in my collection. I'd love to keep um, this one as well um, because I do like the orange as opposed to the red, um, a little bit different. And I like the fact that it's an eco drive and it's, you know, it's a pick up and go watch. It's deadly accurate. Obviously you can see the difference. We've got a day date on here and just a date on there. And that's at the four o'clock. This is at the three o'clock. Um, but that's obviously the difference between the automatic versions and the, the quartz ones. Cause this automatic one, um, I think these have got pretty much the same movement in and, um, you know, both have got day date. Um, really shows up the green loom on that one, whereas this one's the kind of blue colour. I'll do a loom shot in a minute, but for now I'll just get it on the wrist. Okay, so there it is on my just over seven inch wrist. And as I've, I've mentioned before with that one, it, this watch, size, shape, design, lug to lug, just wears absolutely beautifully. I mean, even on a, a fairly thick NATO, so you've got a double sort of thickness of NATO underneath it, it still uh, wears absolutely beautifully. This one, I've actually made the NATO into a single pass so it doesn't sit as high up on the on the wrist. And uh, I might do it with this one, I don't know. It, um, it's actually okay on this NATO, I really do like the look of it. But uh, I might sort of convert it to a single pass just to lower it down and get it a bit closer to the wrist. But at the moment, I'm loving it. It wears just beautifully. So I'll just show you a, a loom shot here. Um, as you can see, the loom is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we're talking sort of Seiko quality loom. All the systems I've had, I've had really, really good loom. It lasts well into the night, you know, sort of two, three, four o'clock in the morning. Uh, so I've got no issues with the loom whatsoever. Um, and it's a nice sort of color combination with the loom on these as well. They sort of seem to match them to the color of the watches, which is quite nice. I really appreciate the um, the, the size of the crown and the knurling on it, I think that's a really nice touch on the limited edition. If you just compare it to the standard one on there, um, which is just dished. And then this one is, um, that one is signed, but if you look at the, it's just like the, the sort of the straight cuts in it. Um, I do prefer the knurling and it's a really nice one to get hold of. So overall, really happy with this watch. Obviously, I'm going to do a long-term review once I've got accuracy and things like that, but definitely a keeper in the collection. The fact that it's a limited edition um, will make me want to keep hold of it a bit longer. Um, and so I would like to have kept hold of this one as well. Uh, this one's a keeper in the collection. That's not going anywhere. That's been long decided. Um, I would have liked to have kept the Eco Drive as well, but ultimately that um, is being sold to pay for this one. Um, so there you go. Uh, that's uh, my review of the Citizen Pro Master Diver, uh, the Fugu edition. Um, oh, I just wanted to show you before I go. There you go. It's the NY0081-10 and it's the Cal8203. Uh, so thanks for watching. I do really appreciate your comments, your likes, your subscribes. Um, everything's going up at the moment. I'm getting more comments, more likes, more subscriptions. So it really helps me to keep the channel moving. I've just outed another 12 watches out of my collection are being sold or have been sold, depending on when you're watching this. So um, now I've got this watch and once I've cleared out all the others, I am gonna do a state of the collection update because I am now back down to my, uh, my 12 watches, which is what I really wanted to keep my collection at. It's really difficult to do that, but um, I'll, I'll do that one. That'll be my next video coming up after this one. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers, bye.